Now in this video, we will discuss some problems related to Newton's second law of motion. What is Newton's second law of motion? That is force is equals to mass into acceleration. This is called Newton's second law of motion. Question says, a particle of mass 5 kg slides down a smooth inclined plane inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. So what we have? we have a inclined plane and this inclined plane is inclined at an angle of 30 degree from the horizontal so this is my horizontal and this is also given this inclined plane is a smooth so there is no friction that is mu is equals to 0 now there is a block a particle of mass 5 kg so let us say particle is somewhere here and the mass of particle let me write here m and we know m is equals to 5 kg find the acceleration of the particle and the reaction between particle and plane so what we have to find we have to find what is the acceleration of particle and we have to also find reaction let us call reaction as a n that is normal we have to find two things so to discuss this problem first thing is we have to draw the free body diagram so there is a mg force that will act downward and there is another contact force basically this is a body force normal reaction that will act normal to the surface so this is a normal reaction now we want to write Newton's second law of motion what we will do we will break this mg along the incline and perpendicular to the incline so let us draw this line if this angle is theta this angle is also theta and this is on the basis of angle between line is equals to angle between perpendicular upon this line this line is perpendicular upon this line this line is perpendicular so this angle is also 30 degree so if I take component of mg along this line this will be mg cos 30 so this is mg cos 30 degree now if I take component of mg along the incline in this direction so basically along this direction I will have mz sin 30 so along this direction component of mz is mz sin 30 degree now we have resolved the forces in two direction along the perpendicular of incline and parallel to incline now we want to write Newton's second law of motion along these two direction first equation we can write parallel to incline that is along the incline along the inclined plane also assume this mass is moving in this direction with acceleration a so we can write force in this direction that is mg sin 30 degree force is equals to mass into acceleration so from here we can write a is equals to g sin 30 degree and sin 30 is nothing but half so g into half so acceleration in this case is z by 2 that is if I take z is equals to 10 so 5 meter per second square is the acceleration now what will happen if I write equation perpendicular to the incline so if I write equation perpendicular to the incline so if I see in perpendicular direction the object is not moving so acceleration is 0 now let us say we write forces this force if I take upward is positive so this n is positive but minus mg cos theta because mg cos theta is downward direction this is negative so we can write n minus mg cos 30 degree this is the total force that is acting perpendicular to incline 
and this is equals to mass into acceleration acceleration in perpendicular direction is zero so we will have n is equals to mg cos 30 degree cos 30 is nothing but root 3 by 2 if I plug the value of mass and z mass is basically 5 kg and g is 10 so 5 into 10 50 into root 3 by 2 so this is 25 root 3 and force in normal reaction is a force so unit will be Newton so this is the thing we can calculate normal reaction as well as acceleration along the inclined plane so if a of z is on the inclined plane we can do something like this now this problem is again Newton's second law question says a block of mass 2 kg rests on a floor of a lift so let us say this is the my lift and this mass rest on the floor of lift and the mass is 2 kg so mass of this object is basically 2 kg the of a lift which has acceleration of 5 meter per second square upward so this lift is going up with acceleration of 5 meter per second square find the reaction between block and lift so let us say we have to find reaction force once again we call this as a n what is the reaction force between lift and block first we have to draw the free body diagram what are the forces that is acting so mass this mass there is a force that acting in the downward direction that is bit m into z and there is one more force that is normal reaction so let us wrap this m so there is another force that is this surface will apply this surface will try to push this up there is a normal reaction n that is acting in the upper direction now we can apply Newton's second law of motion in vertical direction so let us say if I apply Newton's second law of motion so we can write force is equals to mass into acceleration so since this is going up so total force in upward direction so we will write total force in upward direction so this is equals to n and this mz is in the downward direction so this n minus mz this is equals to mass into acceleration now from here we can calculate n this is nothing but mz plus ma so that is m is equals to z plus a z is 10 and mass is given 2 kg and acceleration is 5 so you have normal reaction is 30 newton now in this question one variation is what will happen if this acceleration is in the downward direction in that case only I have to replace a with minus a so if lift is moving if lift is moving in the downward direction with same acceleration so in that case normal reaction will be m z minus a you see one a special case when z is equals to a or when acceleration is equals to z normal reaction is zero so when this lift is going in the downward direction and acceleration of the lift is z in that case n is equals to zero in that case you will feel no force you are applying no force to the floor so this is a situation of bedlessness now what will happen if my basically a is greater than z 
So, A is greater than Z, this means normal reaction that is M Z minus A. In this case, if A is greater than Z and the object this lift is going in the downward direction, so normal reaction is negative. What is the meaning? So, normal reaction is negative. So, this means now I have to apply a normal reaction. So, I have to bolt this object to apply a force in the dormant direction. So, I have to I have to basically keep this object fixed. I have to build this object because it has a tendency to go up. So, normal reaction in the downward direction. Negative sign suggest negative sign negative sign suggest negative sign for normal reaction suggest suggest n is in the downward direction So, you see normal reaction can vary from Z minus A into M to M into Z plus A. So, this is the way normal reaction can vary. If you change the motion of lift either it can go up. So, this is the case when lift is going down. So, lift is going down and this is the case when lift is going up. So, normal reaction can vary in this case.